Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs, and it looks like on the Sam's Club website, we have some information and details regarding the new version of the At Games Legends Ultimate, and we should probably talk about it. Okay, guys, we are back, and I have to give a, uh, a big shout out to Jason Little Alien for sharing this with me on the P-Dubs Place Discord channel. Uh, he provided me this link for the Sam's Club listing for the new Legends Ultimate Home Arcade. Now, uh, make sure you guys join my Discord. Now, it's important to note that this particular arcade machine is one of the HD arcade machines. This is not the new Legends Ultimate 4K, which now has apparently been delayed until sometime in 2025. If you guys remember, it was back on At Games National Owners Day that At Games actually uh, shared this particular slide, letting people know that a new version of the Legends Ultimate HD would be arriving in Sam's Club stores sometime in October. October's almost over. I don't know if they're actually in store yet, but they do have the placeholder listing on the website. It says new uh, includes the new user interface. That's something to keep in mind as well. We kind of showed off what that user interface was going to look like a year ago. I'd roll some footage of it right now, but honestly, it's been a year, and I don't know if At Games has changed it. What I can tell you is back when I showed you guys a, a sneak preview last year of that original uh, user interface concept, a lot of people hated it. They loved the user interface they're using on the Legends Pinball 4K, but the user interface uh, that they were going to roll out for the arcade machines, people were just did not like what they came up with. So I don't know if they've changed it over time. I have no idea what the user interface looks like. We'll have to keep our eyes on it. It's also important to note that brand new games list as well, which we're going to kind of dive into. It does appear that this arcade machine is still going to have 300 built-in games on it, which is really, really nice. But when we take a look at the actual design of the arcade machine, you'll notice that there have been a couple of changes. And let's go ahead and dive in here. You'll see here is our At Games Legends Ultimate HD. This is the new version of the HD that'll be at Sam's Club. You'll notice it's still got the traditional at games, side panels, shapes, swan-shaped arcade design, same control panels, everything. This thing is going to retail for $549 at Sam's Club. You'll notice that they don't have a, a bit LCD marquee included, so that is obviously going to be sold separately. You'll have to pick that up separately. You'll notice that they've made changes to the artwork, right? We are looking at apparently just a black bezel. No uh, massive amounts of Legends Ultimate or At Games logos all over this thing. Really, the only logo I see for At Games is the Legends Ultimate marquee, which a lot of people will take off and put on a bit LCD marquee, or if they pick up a used bit pixel LED marquee. You'll notice that it's just a black bezel, so you're not going to have con conflicting artwork when you're like playing games and things like that. You'll notice the control panel also appears to be just black. It looks like a lot of the Tron artwork is gone, missing, removed uh, from this new design. One thing that I found interesting is Battletoads. We do have the Battletoads artwork on the top. We have some more, it looks like, rare game artwork. Uh, we have Space Invaders. We have Bubble Bobble. Looks like Operation Wolf. And we have Dinosaur Dynasty. Now, is it the prettiest side panel in history? No. Is it better than the side panel on the existing like At Games 1.1 and 1.2 HD arcade machines? I think so, because those machines really just had artwork, if you follow the mouse, really just had artwork like around this area here in the center, and it was a hodgepodge of Star Wars, Wreck-It Ralph, various games, just characters, Jungle King, or uh, uh, Jungle Book, or whatever, Lion King, like all mixed in. Very interesting stuff. Now we actually have more arcade type games on the side panel. Honestly, I like this side panel better than the previous versions, but it's still, it's a multi cade side panel, so it's never gonna be beautiful. It's interesting to note about the games list. Now, if this is correct, when it comes to your built-in games, we don't have the full games list of 300 games, but you'll notice that Atari is back. It seemed like Atari was included on the At Games 1.0 HD cabinet, and then Atari seemed to kind of disappear, like the Atari games weren't included on later versions of At Games HD products. So it makes me think, since we're seeing Asteroids, Missile Command, uh, uh, the fact that we're seeing uh, Lunar Lander, Kicks, Tempest, Crystal Castles, all Centipede, all listed on this kick plate. If this kick plate is correct, uh, this render, 
It sounds to me like At Games has, has brought Atari arcade games back to their platform. They must have signed a new deal or something of that nature because it really felt like they lost that license with the Atari games being removed from our At Games machines as time went on. You'll notice that the Battletoads is on here. You'll notice Killer Instinct's not on here. Makes me think that maybe Killer Instinct is not an included game. It's a game you're going to have to purchase and download and play separately whenever that comes out. Uh, because why would you not put it on here? It's a big title. It's a big name to put on your kick plate. And they went with Battletoads instead. So, hey, at least maybe we'll all get Battletoads with these machines, right? So you have a whole bunch of... Uh, this is all we know about the games list. Now, uh, all the Disney games, like all the Disney titles, have been removed from the games list. But when it comes to the actual product listing page, when we actually get down to the nitty-gritty details of the product listing page... You'll notice that the, it looks like they still have the Disney license, right? Might be hard for some of you guys to see. Let me take myself off of the screen. Let's maybe kind of zoom in a little bit. And you'll notice that Centipede, Space Invaders, Tetris, Burger Time, Aladdin, The Lion King, Tron. So guys, it looks like they still have Disney licenses if this product listing is correct. 300 games built in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it looks like they still have the Disney games. I've heard rumors behind the scene that they weren't doing Disney stuff anymore. But if this product listing is correct, well, maybe they still have them. We won't know for sure until we see a full games list later. Something else to keep in mind that I found interesting on here was when they were talking about your uh, bringing your own game functionality, right? Typically, we would call this OTG mode, right? That's what bringing your own game meant. Now, with OTG mode, you're able to basically uh, connect other devices. Uh, we've seen several things like Super Console X I've done. There's plenty of devices you could actually connect. And with their OTG mode, get your control panel working and play those on this arcade machine. You'll notice they really didn't talk about the OTG mode at all here, but they did mention that, hey, you can go ahead and uh, bring your own games to access even more games and features, blah, blah, blah. And they really highlighted the APL functionality. So arcade play link functionality, you can connect HDMI, Bluetooth, USB based devices and consoles for access to even more content. Now. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments below, because I've covered at games for years. I swear the APL, they just kind of used that in the past for those little uh, at games uh, flashback drives that they would sell. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The little drives, you could plug them into the at games HDMI port, connect the mini USB cable, and all those little mini flashback thumb drives you could play. Those are all officially licensed drives and stuff. And I think that's what they called APL in the past. But it's kind of weird that they're really not talking about each OTG mode here um, through the At Games leaderboards, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, will we still have access to CoinOps X and things like that? Bring in your own games, your own UCE files and ROMs. I can't tell you guys for certain on this new machine. Keep in mind, it's going to have a new user interface on it. So it'll be interesting to see. I'm hoping that we'll still have all the OTG and BYOG um, stuff that we're used to for all these years, being able to bring our own flash drives of games, as well as connect multiple different consoles and systems and play them on this arcade machine. That's like the number one reason that people would buy these at game stuff. Now, keep in mind, although they're going to have 300 games, with the fact that they're going to have Taito, Atari, Rare um, games built in, di some of the Disney games as well, Tron, things like that. The fact that a lot of those games are going to be built into the system, it actually sounds like they're going to have a much better lineup versus the original 300 games that got included on the At Games Legends Ultimates that you see behind me. So included games would actually be a better lineup. OTG mode, BYOG, APL, all that stuff, all to be determined. I can't tell you to run off and buy these machines because I don't know if they've limited or removed any functionality or if everything stays the same with the new user interface. Anyway, guys, so just a quick recap. This thing is going to be $549 at a Costco near you. They'll, I'll have a link for this on the website. I think if you're, I'm sorry, at a Sam's Club near you, if you are a Sam's Club member, I think you could actually order it 
online when they're in stock. If not, you could pick it up in the store. Anyone who's a Sam's Club member will be able to pick it up in the store. I don't know if they're actually in store yet. If you see any, definitely let me know. Let me know that they're actually in store. But I wanted you guys to be aware that this machine is now going to be out there. Probably, I'm assuming within the next few weeks, we'll definitely be in a bunch of Sam's Club stores nationwide. Do I see a reason for myself to upgrade uh, from one of these machines to this one? No, um, but we'll keep our eyes on it and see what that user interface looks like, functionality, what other members of the community report, and all that kinds of stuff. If you enjoyed this quick news update, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.